I'm Rona Free, president of the University of St. Joseph, and today is Symposium Day 2019. It's a wonderful opportunity to see the outstanding research done by USJ faculty and students over the last year. My project was studying weight bias in the undergraduate but upperclassmen nursing students at University of St. Joseph's. I think that it's a really interesting topic. I think um, we wanted to go the more sociological, psychological route. It was also extremely heartwarming looking at the results of this particular institution to see that the attitudes were generally positive. So I have a personal connection to it just because of my own past disordered eating and my own body. And it was just cool to do research sort of to help the patient outcome. So I did some research to start on how and if dogs are used to support students with autism. And then that led me to doing some of my own research on how they're used in a school setting. I work with seeing eye dogs. So through that, I've been interested in how else dogs can help. Some benefits were language skills improved, um, social skills, um, behavioral issues kind of declined. The research for me was really interesting, and the fact that I get to present it to other people and talk about it is really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> So RAs took a um, daily stress inventory at the beginning and end of their shift to identify a relationship between stressful events and their ability to report in their job. We look to apply the previous research by USJ students assessing job performance and procedural fidelity amongst the staff and the resident assistant staff. One of the best findings that we found was there was actually overall a decrease in the stressful events that staff reported at the end of their shift compared to the beginning of the shift. So there's a lot that we need to further look at, um, but it's identifying that it seems as though our students are set up for the success that they need to report appropriately um, based off the training that they have. So my project um, that I decided to do my study on was whether or not um, senior nursing students had enough knowledge to educate their patients on the risks and the benefits of electronic cigarettes. The whole point of this study was kind of to see whether or not the curriculum needed a little bit of adjustment and whether or not we, the professors needed to add um, education into our classes about electronic cigarettes. We're graduating in two months and most of us are starting jobs within the next three or four months. Um, so I think a lot of them are surprised to see that it is such a topic that not a lot of information is known on. So my project is on hydration in college athletes. We just like assessed their hydration habits and then we compared those habits to the hydration recommendations. A lot of athletes are lacking education on proper hydration strategies and that's going to be our job as dietitians to provide that education to athletes. So I did my research on the gluten-free, casein-free diet and um, how it affects children with autism and then I asked the parents' perception on the diet like implemented in their children and like different benefits on that through a survey. I think it's really great so far. I didn't really know what to expect, but I've gotten a lot of really good questions and it's really nice to like share my research with people. Having people come up to me and be like, oh, this is like a really cool study and a lot of people don't do it. Like, can you tell me more about it? So it's just kind of spreading that information on a topic that's not like super well known. Um, it's important like to have an event so we have something to look forward to to present our research for and it really like motivates us to really do our best work and because we know we're going to be presenting it to other people and then come together and just see what everyone else has been working on and doing and learning.